Well, go for it. <laughs> More like um, How? Why are Canadians complacent? Why don't they realize that your government is corrupt? They don't realize our government is corrupt because they think they are free. They think right now that the mandates are over, the lockdowns are over, and that there is nothing holding them back. They are under the illusion of freedom. But what they don't understand is there's still a lot of people that aren't able to work. If you were a federal government employee, you still can't work unless you're vaccinated. The post-secondary schools are still telling kids they can't come into the post-secondary unless they're vaccinated, or they can't live in residence unless they're vaccinated. Tim Horton specifically said kids couldn't go to camp this summer unless they were vaccinated. They're now starting to do away with cash. You are not a, there are several restaurants I've gone to lately that won't accept cash, cash, even though cash is a legal tender. We are not free. We are under the illusion of free, and people are under the illusion that mandates and lockdowns are done. What they don't understand is that this is all just a dress rehearsal from what's coming up. And what's coming up is the digital convergence, bio-digital convergence, social credit system, and they're already prepping it and telling us it's coming, and people aren't listening because they're under the illusion that they're free because it hasn't affected their front doorstep yet. When will it affect our front doorstep? When they wake up and they no longer have money in their bank accounts and they're told that they are in a central digitalized banking system and they are told that they can buy bread only if they get the chip in their hand which will complete the biodigital convergence and it's all over our federal government websites and people aren't paying attention. They are telling us what's coming. Ontario.ca, which is our provincial government website, is talking about all the wonderful things Digital ID is going to do for you and more. You go all the way down to the bottom and it says working in affiliation with the World Economic Forum. People need to understand what the World Economic Forum is and that the fourth industrial revolution is what they are advocating for. And if anybody reads that book, page 121 is super, super important. And it talks about transhumanism. And 2025 is the deadline that they all think that transhumanism is going to happen. And it all starts with the biodigital convergence, digital ID. How convenient is that? Central digitalized banking service. How wonderful is that? We're going to find out very soon. KTDI, which is known traveler digital ID, is currently being implemented and practiced and played out in major airports in Canada. Look out, guys. We are not free. We're not even close to being free. So if we don't stand up and start speaking out and moving as one, working together on the global uh, sphere, we're going to go down. So we can't let that happen. We need to work with our North American partners. We need to work with our Australian partners, our Brazilian partners, our UK partners. We need to work with everybody because this is a global problem and we need a global solution.